Hey guys, it's Grease Monkey Sweet for it here. I'm bringing you a uh, how to make your Roper tractor, garden tractor, faster. I this is 16 horsepower. The proper engine in it is probably 18, but 16 is good enough. This is a three-inch pulley on the engine right now. I took the wheels off and this is an 8 inch pulley on the rear drive. I can't get this pulley off without dropping the rear end, rear end a couple inches. So I got up on the jack stand and the jack could hold up the frame. So I'm going to take out these two bolts and drop it down to about here. So I can undo that nut and pull the pulley off. And I am going to go put a small pulley on. Okay guys, I took out those two. Now I, I took out that one because that one I found out I had to mount to. So the whole thing it will fall out but this, uh, the gear shifter linkage is in the way. So what I am going to do to make everything easier I took the rack off from the seat. I'm gonna take this bolt off and uh, one hole in this fender and the other one. So I'll take that off and the fender will pull and then I can get the rear end out. Okay, I got the fender off. Put those two bolts there and one on the side. And now I got those bolts off here. It'll support the whole seat and the uh, fenders and the gas tank. Pull that off. Now the gas tank. I filled it I filled it with rocks so give it weight. Because there's no this gas tank is cracked so it leaks. Not the gas tank on the engine. So that one no needed it weight. So time to take that off. Okay got it off. It went heavy. Need two hands. So, here's the transmission. There's the, the shifter linkage right here. So, that w this whole piece wouldn't come down. So, we gotta undo two bolts on there and the whole thing will slide out and then switch the pulley. Okay, I got those two bolts out. It dropped down. I had to take out this shifter, shifter linkage. Oh, it is like a, a chain link that dropped down and now I can take the pulley off. Undo that. It should have come right off. If not, I'll unseize it. Okay, I got it off. All I did is loosen the nut with the impact. I took my puller, put it on. I drilled some holes, tapped the holes. I screwed the bolts into them and Put down my pole and it pulled right off. It's sort of tough because I had to use the blow torch too to heat up the the collar around the pulley, so it'll pull off. It'll get bigger and then it come off. So now I'm gonna go put the small one on and hope it works. Guys, I got the old pulley off. I put this new five inch pulley. The old one is 9 inch. So that on there now and I am going to put it all back together. Okay I got it all put back together. Got the whole rear end in, got the rack on, got the fender on, got the seat on. Tires. And you can see, I think you can see the pulley down there. The new one. The 5 inch. And then now I'm going to uh, Take this off, this little three inch pulley. And replace it with a, I think in the five inch. I need a puller for that. So when I get this off, I'll let you go. No. Okay, I, got, I found a pulley. It's a five inch. I bolted on the motor. And we got a five inch on the rear. 
So, the original on the wheel was 9 inch, original on the engine was 3 inch. So now they are the same ratio. Let's fire this thing up and take it for a test ride. I got it in low range. So like that. good yeah now low range is like high range and high range is faster so low range is all like normal speed oh yeah I don't want it to go any faster at perfect speed of death. and I can still tow stuff like crazy tone ability this thing got and that motor is, I'm going to put the hood back on so I can drive it. But that's how I switched to pulleys on this Roper garden tractor. See you later. <laughs>